Hello, I'm Mercy with DiscountLowVoltage.com and we're going to go over a quick uh, fiber optic termination how-to demo here. Now on my left hand side here I have some of the older style fiber optic connectors where you got to use some glue, you got to polish them, you got to use the oven. There's a lot of labor involved uh, that way. These connectors are a lot cheaper but labor wise they suck. Um, just too much work. Uh, assembly houses still do use these to keep the cost of fiber optic patch cords down, but other than that, that's pretty much the most commonly used connector for this, uh, this connector nowadays. Now, over the past 10 years, uh, we've come to the AFL Fiber Optic Fast connector. This is a very easy connector to terminate. It's, uh, they really focused on making it really uh, no labor for you. They cut down the labor and how they did that was they went ahead and put a piece of fiber optic glass in there for you and did the hard part was the polishing at the factory. So when you get this you know at your door stop at your uh, at your door you're already good to go. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to cut the glass, we're going to cleave it to what the manufacturer specifies into the fiber optic connector and then I'm going to show you how this closes together to keep the connector inside with the fiber. But first we're going to go ahead and uh, strip off some six strand fiber optic cable. This is an indoor outdoor tight buffered multi-mode cable. It's probably the most commonly sold fiber nowadays especially for building to building type applications. So what we're going to do, there we go, there's the Kevlar, and it's very flexible. That's another reason why a lot of people, contractors, like to work with this stuff, especially around the bends and conduit. So let's just go ahead and pull a strand out of there. Okay, now the next step is to go ahead and strip the jacket off the glass. Okay, so I'm using an ideal light strip fiber stripper. It's got a few different sizes here for fiber optic cable, and uh, it basically covers everything you're going to bump into out in the field. It saves you the cost of buying another tool in the long run for a different size of fiber, and then maybe possibly even a third tool down the road. Now we're going to go ahead and put the fiber uh, into the appropriate notch here, and then one of the things that I found over the past few years is with these fiber uh, strippers, you're going to want to go ahead and give it kind of a, I would give it a quick kind of squeeze. That way it, it kind of grabs the jacket better and it cuts it a lot better. It, if you go too slow, it kind of feels like uh, it's not cutting the jacket. It's just one of those little things you're going to have to get a feel for down the road so you can kind of uh, get better at stripping the fiber off the, there we go. There's a piece I've done. Let's go ahead and I think I need a little bit of a longer piece. So we're going to go ahead and redo the steps, the steps of this bit and uh, give it another quick squeeze. And it slightly, you'll, you'll get a feel for it. You'll start feeling it slowly come off the, uh, the glass and then you'll feel a little bit of a break. Now this does take a little bit of time, but I would buy a little extra just so you can, uh, you know, get a better feel for uh, terminating, going through the step by step. Maybe buy some extra if you want to start off doing this and play with it for a little while. Now our next step is to cleave the fiber. Okay, so we're going to use a Corning fiber cleaver. They call this their field cleaver. It's probably one of the most uh, popular cleavers just because of the price. It's fairly inexpensive and it'll do multi-mode. Uh, not single mode. You don't really bump into single mode that often. Most of the time you're going to be working with multi-mode. Now we're going to go ahead and slide our cleaved, our stripped fiber into the cleaver and we're going to go ahead and cleave it. As you can tell right here we got another notch that's going to hold the glass down. This part's going to come down and cleave the glass and then we're going to give it a bend to go ahead and make the, the fiber pop up to where we need it to be cut at. Now the manufacturer of the connector says we should cleave it at a ten and a half for this style connector, for the Sam Charlie. It'll be different for the STs, the LCs. Now you'll notice the measurements here, it says 11 and 14. You might want to consider getting a cleaver that has a better measurement system. 
Uh, those will cost a little bit more money, but it shouldn't be too much. And we're going to go ahead and eyeball the ten and a half here, just so you guys can get a feel for what I'm doing. So that's probably about right. I've worked with this cleaver many times in the past. I've terminated quite a few of these. I've got it right most of the time. So now, as you can tell back there, we have our glass that's going to be held in place. There we go. And then we're going to want to go ahead and just give it a cleave. Press down. It's not going to cut it. It just cleaves it. You don't really feel anything when you do it. It doesn't feel like anything's going on. Then you let it go. There we go. It popped right up, right where we cleaved it, and that's basically all you're going to do here with the cleaver. Now we have our glass cut to length to what the manufacturer recommends. We put the fiber into the connector. Okay, now we're going to insert the cleaved fiber into the connector, and I'm uh, sorry if I'm a little shaky. I've had a lot of coffee this morning, so... One thing I do want to mention with this connector that's included with the cost at no additional charge is they do give you a lot of different uh, boots here, a lot of different, uh, even a, a tube here if you're working with a loose tube fiber in order to, uh, you know, gives you a boot, gives you a little extra support for the connector and the fiber. Now this is a, uh, this boot here is going to go with this um, fiber, but I definitely should have put it on before I stripped and cleaved it, but we're just going to put it on the other end, so that way it doesn't mess with our cleaved, uh, stripped glass that we already worked on. Now the connector, basically it's already open from the manufacturer. We're just going to want to slide the fiber all the way in until you feel like uh, you got it all the way in there. And the manufacturer, what they want you to do is they want you to put a little bit of a bend on there to make sure you have it all the way into the appropriate area. Now, there we go, it's in there. That was basically it. What this connector has inside of it, it's got two cams to where when you purchase it, the cams are open. You're going to want to slide your glass in there. It's got these two prongs that go ahead and you squeeze, you squeeze this tab, you squeeze this tab out, and it closes the cams inside of it, gripping your connector. Now, before you take out this little tool that's attached to the connector, you'll see these two little clear areas. Your next step is to attach a visual fault finder, and it's basically a laser that you're going to install onto the end of it, and it's going to shoot a red laser through it, and if you have a good connection, you won't get any light through either one of these clear tabs. If you have problems, if you didn't measure it right, something went wrong, it'll light up right. It's a, it's a good tool to help you on your installation. And then the next step is to go ahead and take the tool off. And then uh, your boot here, we'll go ahead and put this boot back on. And then you're going to want to slide the boot right on over. And that's basically it. You're going to unscrew the uh, top that's included to protect the nice clean area there. Plug it into whatever you're doing. And that is, that is it. This is a lot easier than when I first started doing it 12 years ago. Uh, these connectors do cost a bit more than the oven bake connectors. But on the labor end of it, you're going to love it. Thanks for visiting. You can order online. And questions call us 888-797-3697.